uh, my name's Kate Story, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Public Health here at the University of Alberta. And my research program is, is called CIRCLE, which stands for School-Based Intervention Research Through Changes in Lifestyles and Environments. And really what that comes down to is that I am aiming to make uh, improve the health and well-being of children and families, so from a school-based perspective mostly, uh, in order to make the healthy choice the easy choice, where children and families live, work, learn and play. And so within that, uh, within CIRCLE, I, I really look at a framework called Comprehensive School Health, where we aim to improve the health and well-being of, of children and families and communities that those schools are in by looking at the child uh, within more of a comprehensive framework, uh, not just you know improving the health of children in terms of eating habits and physical activity um, by teaching and learning, but also looking at their school's environment, so uh, the physical and social environment of the school, uh, what type of school policy they have, and as well as is their education uh, inclusive, you know, being inclusive. So we look at the child from a holistic perspective and, and really aim to to improve their health through those those strategies. Um, another component of what I do is, is, is knowledge development and exchange and there's many terms for knowledge development and exchange or knowledge exchange um, but what that means is that when you're working with practitioners and you're working with policymakers, and we're you know doing interventions within school settings it really needs to improve their work and make their work easier for what they're doing so when we're working with schools um, and doing, you know, looking at that process and impact evaluation of, of school-based interventions, it's how do we continuously improve that? So it's not just doing the research, you know, waiting for a number of years and then feeding it back to the community in a, in a scholarly or scientific publication. It's, it's, it's looking at the data at all different time points and feeding that back and having conversations with, you know, the school health facilitators or with the principal or with the teachers and saying, here's what we're learning right now. How can we tweak the intervention to make uh, and even better and to make the kids hopefully even healthier. So a lot of favorite parts obviously you know working with kids is, is very rewarding and, and I think that one of the things that's really interesting is that when we all come around the table all of the different uh, partners that, that work with us you know everybody says that it's all about the kids and, and it's not losing sight of that and to see kids you know making healthier choices and being excited about fruits and vegetables and being excited about physical activity is really really rewarding but I would also say it's really rewarding to do research and for someone like a school health facilitator or a lead teacher to be excited about that as well to see what you're doing and to say you're really listening to me and you want to make my job easier and and we want to see it and we want to implement that and so it's you know you can see the research come to life so to speak it's not just you know sitting behind a desk and, and doing work it's being out in the schools and working with uh, partners to actually improve their lives so that they can improve children's lives and, and the families that they work with.